You know, the thing about Shakespeare is that he, he's not content to, to, to offer cardboard characters. This is, this is not the Jew of Malta. This is not a, uh, a cut-out, uh, stereotypical uh, Jewish villain. This is a, a Jewish character who, even while talking about how he will seek revenge, couches it in terms of, hath not a Jew eyes, you know? I mean, don't we share a common humanity? The essence of that speech is, you get revenge, I'll get revenge. It's a justification of revenge. It's, it's not a plea for, you know, religious tolerance or anything, despite the way it's been played many times. But Shakespeare wrote an expression of the, the universality of humanity into that plea for revenge. Um, he, he, he writes into the, uh, the, the trial scene when Shylock is at his most intransigent, a, an attack on slavery you know, which was unheard of in the 1590s, you know. He, you know, he identifies, as a recusant Catholic, he identifies with, uh, uh, it, some part of him identifies with a religious uh, minority who's being persecuted. And as someone who has lent out money at high interest, he identifies with the usurer on some level. His, his genius as a playwright is his ability to identify with every character he creates, his ability to completely enter into the psychological makeup of, of any character. Um, and, and so he gives Shylock uh, a rich interior life, but Shylock is still the villain. He is still the threat and has to be the threat. And Shylock is a character in the play. He's not the character in the play, despite how interesting some of his speeches are. There are five basic plots in the play, and the Shylock part is only one. And it's, it's a, I think, a terrible mistake to distort the play, to, to put Shylock as, as the, the most important element. He's not. He's not. The most important element, really, is, is the Portia Bassanio story. Otherwise, when we get to the fifth act, we're not happy to be there. And in a comedy, we, I think we have to be. I've had disagreements <laughs> with some of the people who are working on the production about this. You know, I, my feeling is that the audience has to feel good to be at Belmont in the fifth act. Things have worked out. And the response that I, 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 some, some people have is, how can they feel good? They've just seen Shylock be treated like this. But Portia comes into that trial scene completely prepared. <laughs> this is interesting, I think. Another key decision to make in a production is, does Portia come into the trial scene knowing that her trump card is you can't draw any blood when you get the pound of flesh? Or does she discover that in the moment? Now, obviously, dramatically, it's much more interesting if it's discovered in the moment. But her whole point in the trial scene is to plead for mercy. And I think her whole objective in the trial scene is to allow Shylock to get himself off the hook to climb down from this precipice that he's placed himself on, this cliff he's about to jump off, in demanding his pound of flesh, to get him to say, all right, I have won my moral victory. I have the right to take his pound of flesh, but I will let him go. He doesn't. He's about to do it when Portia finally says, hold. <laughs> but she gives him every opportunity. The Duke gives him every opportunity. We all expect a gentle answer, Jew. And uh, the, the, the terrible thing for Shylock is that he's at a point where he just can't uh, make that leap. He just can't make that leap.